Okay, Vexilar fans, we're going to talk about one of the most exciting subjects you could ever want to learn about. Batteries. Yeah, batteries. One of the most critical things in a Vexilar ice fishing system. And if you've ever wanted to grow up someday to become a Vexilar technician, you, all you have to do is tell people on the phone, charge your battery, charge your battery, charge your battery. Because by far 99% of Vexilar system failures are simply due to a bad battery. Now, how do you know if your battery is bad? Well, you can have a battery tester to test it. And if you have one of those, that's great. But a lot of people don't realize that a 12 volt battery is pretty much almost a dead battery. Your Vexilar stops functioning at about eight volts. So if you've got 12 volts on your battery, that's the sign your battery is nearly completely dead. I mean, you say, what do you mean? 12 volt battery is a 12 volt battery fresh should be about 12.7 to 13.2 for voltage. You need to keep it fully charged at all times. Now these are lead acid batteries, very similar to what's in your car, it's glass mat batteries. And they need to be charged all the time. There was some guy somewhere that told a story about how you need to fully discharge your batteries before you recharge them again. It was back in the 80s, and for some reason that stuck in the mantra of people who charge batteries. Folks, it's 100% false. These are lead acid batteries that need to be charged every single time you use them. Good example. These batteries can handle at least a thousand recycles if you use it maybe a third of the battery capacity and then recharge it. If you draw it all the way down to near zero and try to recharge it again, you'll only get 300 cycles out of it. So you're killing your battery by letting it drain down between charges. Don't be lazy when you're fishing. When you come in, you've got to get that system in and get it on a charger every single night. That's the only way to keep your battery in good shape. They're $40 a piece. It's worth the effort to save that extra cost. Now these batteries can handle a lot of recharging, but only with a specific type of charger. Now Vexilar supplies a fully automatic digital one amp charger. Do not try to use your car battery chargers on charging these batteries. You must use the Vexilar certified chargers. And the lights on here tell you what's going on, but let me tell you a little story. If your battery is already dead, the system, it's fully automatic and digital, doesn't even know there's a battery in your system and it'll still show a green light. So when you plug this into your wall socket and to your battery, if it immediately turns green, well, it could be a red flag that there's probably some problems because every battery for a short period of time will turn the charger to red before it turns to green because it senses the battery in the system. If you've got a dead battery, it'll only show up as green. You leave it on all night and it stays green and you go out fishing and you find out your battery is dead. Now, one of the symptoms of, especially with the older model Vexilars, is if you see the entire dial light up with sparkles of light all the way around your display, you will think that your Vexilar is failing. But what actually happens is Vexilar designed this as a, a wake-up call. As your display is running and running and running, and as it gets down to a certain voltage, the entire screen lights up, telling you, hey, you've got a bad battery. You, you didn't recharge your battery as you're supposed to. It's not the Vexlar that's failing when the lights flash all the way around the dial. It's simply because your battery is failing and that's one of the indicators. And then the next thing is no lights and the motor spins. So there, it drops off eventually and nothing happens. So charge your battery regularly. Now, Vexilar batteries are, are nine amp hour batteries and they're different than what you'd buy, say at most of the convenience stores or hardware stores because those are seven amp hour batteries. Why nine amp hour batteries that Vexilar uses? Nine amp hour batteries, really the reserve capacity or how long you can run the system before you drain the battery completely down. Now, if you're one of those guys that always fishes uh, for the entire weekend, for example, you'll want to go with the nine amp hour battery because then you know you've got enough reserve capacity to last you know, two or even three days of fishing without really severely hurting your battery. A seven amp hour battery is really designed for day use. You use it for the day and it's best to recycle it. Now a seven amp hour battery works great, but you need to recharge all the time. And if you do that, your battery will last a long time. A battery meter will help, 
But remember, when it says 12 volts on here or 6 volts on here, your system will fail. So charge your battery after every use. And before you call us at Vexilar, make sure you've got your battery on charge at least overnight to see if it is indeed the Vexilar. Now, one of the things that we've always showed our customers is that you can actually run your Vexilar directly off the charger. So if your unit is flashing red all the way around and you think that something happened with the Vexilar and it's not working, you can actually hook up the charger to it while your Vexilar is running and all of a sudden everything will go away. Because again, that you can actually run your Vexilar off the charger alone and it works great. These are a lot for store demos and things like that. Taking care of your batteries. It's important business because without it, your Vexilar will not work. Have a good season. Patrick, good enough? Good to me. Should I redo it just for kicks and giggles? Make it shorter? I hit all the main points though, that was it. Yeah. I talked about the recharge, I talked about testing, I talked about what it does to your Vexilar. Yes, sir. Well, let's, uh, a lot, a lot. I was a little long, so let me see if I can do a shorter version, see if this works better. Okay, we're going to talk about one of the most exciting subjects around here at the Vexilar Service Center. Batteries. You see, batteries are the number one reason for Vexilar system failure. Vexilars don't fail. Batteries oftentimes do because anglers simply forget to recharge, don't want to recharge, or they might indeed have a bad battery that's not taken care of properly and it could die on you. So I need you to identify what the problems are if they really are a bad battery issue or a bad Vexilar issue. You see, every Monday morning here at Vexilar, the phone literally rings off the hook. And 99.9% .9 of the time, the calls are, charge your battery, charge your battery, charge your battery, charge your battery. One of the big symptoms of a Vexilar when it gets to low battery is the entire screen lights up all the way around the dial. When the screen flashes lights or lights up one color all the way around the dial, it's telling you, charge your battery. If, for example, there are no lights, but the motor is spinning, and you could see the motor spinning or you'd see the light going around, but there are no lights on, charge your battery. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can actually hook up your charger to your battery while your Vexilar is running and actually run your Vexilar directly off the charger. This will clarify once and for all that you do indeed have a bad battery because you can run your Vexilar indefinitely right directly off of your battery charger. Now these batteries are really kind of something special because Vexilar pioneered the use of these uh, glass mat batteries. They're spill proof. You know, they're really a great battery. The problem is they're lead acid batteries and they're just like your car batteries and they need to be charged after every use. So many times I hear this urban legend that, oh no, I want to drain my battery down before I can recharge it again. I gotta cycle it through. Wrong. Cycling a battery, a lead acid battery, only hurts it and shortens its life. If you recharge your battery regularly, you'll get at least a thousand recharges. If you let it go all the way down to near zero each time and recharge it, you only get about 100 to 300 recharges. So it definitely makes a difference on the life of your battery if you recharge it all the time. It's like your car battery. How many years do you expect your car battery to last? Well, yeah, five, six, seven years. That's right. Why is that? Because your alternator is always charging it. You start it up and your alternator starts to charge it. Every time you use this, you need to recharge. Now, this is a fully automatic one amp charger designed by Vexilar. Nobody else has it. It's the state of the art in that technology. You can even keep it on all the time if you'd like to make sure that your battery stays fully charged even during the off season. Now we recommend that if you get a chance, you know, every month or two while during the summer months, you stick it on a charger just to keep it happy. Um, a lot of people don't do that, but we recommend it. And if you can, that's even better yet. But for sure now, before the ice fishing season begins, get it on the charger, make sure it's fully charged so that that battery stays strong and healthy. Do not try to use any other type of charger. Uh, a regular car charger, for example, because this is a lead acid battery, you think, no, no, you will literally destroy and melt the battery. So don't try to do that. These things are 40 bucks a piece and you really want to take care of them. 
Um, also, a lot of people don't quite understand the difference between a, a full battery and a dead battery. Here in the Vexilar world, a 12 amp, uh, a 12 volt battery is pretty much dead uh, when you have 10 or 11 volts on it. How can that be? Well, it is because the, the, the performance curve of these batteries are designed to function just above the 12 volt level. A fully charged battery in this case is about 12.6 to 13.2 volts. Um, a battery, when you're actually using it, will, will hover right around that 12 volt range and then it'll start to drop very quickly. So if your battery is only showing, say, uh, if you've got a voltmeter and it only shows 8 or 10 volts on your system, the battery is literally fully discharged and you need to get it charged immediately. Your Vexlar stops running at about 8 volts, so that tells you that you've got a problem. So make sure you charge your battery on a regular basis with a certified Vexlar charger. Vexlar batteries will last you for many, many years to come. Now these are 9 amp hour batteries. A lot of people call and say, what's the difference between a 9 amp and a 7 amp hour battery? 2 amps. <laughs> but basically what it means to you, the fisherman, is that if you're one of those weekend guys that goes up to Lake of the Woods or on a destination location, you can't get it on a battery charger every single night. The 9 amp hour battery gives you that cushion of time so that you can fish two days, maybe even two and a half days without recharging and without killing your battery. A 7 amp hour battery works great for the day guy, okay? But you need to get it on charge every single night when you get back to ensure the battery will last you as long as a 9 amp hour battery. So Vexlar always gets you the best batteries to give you the best performance when you're out fishing. The battery. I know, a boring subject, but here in the Vexlar world, it is very important on Monday mornings when people call to say, my Vexlar is not working. Charge your battery. See you on the ice.